Hello everyone, Pablo here. Before we start the video, I wanted to address two things. One, go and subscribe if you haven't and follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Goodreads. I've opened a new account. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be uploading review book reviews and I'm gonna be up, up, upgrade. Uh, um, I'm going to be updating my reading lists. So go and follow me on Goodreads. And second, it's been it's been brought to my attention that um, yes, I'm talking about you, Dana. You have noticed that I don't have my glasses. Well, listen, last, last video I didn't have my glasses, and the reason why is that you'll see with the new lights that I have, it looks like I've got. A monocle. <laughs> the rings of death, I call them. So yeah, no, no glasses for me at least. At least when I use the um, lights. December TBR. I cannot believe that I started the channel a month ago and it's already been more well, more than a month ago. But yes, it's it's technically my first wrap up and I am quite excited to do it. Not really I haven't I haven't quite fulfilled my um my TBR. Shame. I didn't read as much as I wanted. But I think it's because I I was just starting out and it was I was finishing the semester and December is quite a hectic, hectic month anyway, um, uni-wise. So there were lots of things, finalising the, the last block, uh, the last rotations in hospital, and getting into a new, the new um, sort of rhythm, uh, the new groove of, of uploading videos. But now I think I've got it sorted. I've got it, I've got it down and I'm, I'm, I'm going to be more effective, uh, which in turn will allow me to read more books, which is the ultimate goal, isn't it? <laughs> Without further ado, let's go into it, shall we? I'm gonna start with the books that I actually finished. The first one is Homeland by Cory Doctorow, somewhere in the screen. As you remember, if, if you've been following me since the beginning, you might remember that it was actually quite a good book and it pulled my attention away from Rhythm, Rhythm of War, which is that that is remarkable. And it's the sequel to Little Brother is written by Cory Doctorow, one of the probably most influential personalities in the internet. He's, uh, he's done so much, um, I think he's got, a, he's got a blog called Boing Boing, um, and he's done so much work on hacktivism and, and trying to defend liberty and freedom of of speech and press and, and copyright uh, laws and, and the internet and incorporating in internet into our uh, daily lives in a safe. Basically against, he his views are against the, the nanny state, the surveillance state and all of those things. And it's certainly uh, not a read that I would normally go for, but this one, um, I read Little Brother years ago and, and I needed to, I didn't know that it, it, it had a sequel until very recently and I decided to do it, uh, to read it. And I do not regret it, it's such a fantastic read. Uh, it, it's, um, it, follows the, it, it follows the story of, of the main protagonist as well, uh, Marcus Yalo, who goes away from, other, from the high school life and into the college life, then he drops out because of money. Um, because of money. You sort of, you, you get to follow him into his, his trials and tribulations of being um, a, a teenager, but also having that added extra uh, stress of, um, of being a, a computer science genius and, and, and being a hacktivist and go and go, uh, going to protest. Something quite, that was quite on the nose this year because of all the whole, um, well, you know, the, the, the upheaval, the social upheaval that we've experienced this, this year with the Black Lives Matter movement. And it's shown me a whole different world, um, which I don't think I would have even thought, or thought of if I, if I hadn't read the book. And I, I will do, um, I will do a, a more detailed review uh, later on. 
coming up some some sometime in the, in the month. But yes, really really good book. I'm glad I I read it. Second book that I read was uh, this one. I did it in the in the readathon. I will link the video somewhere in the screen. It was it was so good. Um, it was Twas uh, the Night Shift Before Christmas. It's the sequel to uh, This Is Going To Her. Well, not technically a sequel. Basically, uh, Adam Kay, uh, which is a um, was a doctor in the in the UK. Now he he retired from from the NHS. Uh, he he took the stories that I couldn't put in in This Is Going To Her and incorporated it in this book. I've been raving about uh, Adam Kay in a couple of in a couple of videos now, and this one it, it it captivates me obviously it talks about the 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 experiences that that i'm going to i'm, I'm going to um, live through when i am a junior doctor and there is a positive to it and a negative to it it this book um and the the, the this is going to hurt the difference the main difference with other medical divulging uh, books is the fact that it doesn't shy away from the nitty-gritty from the from the literal blood and, and and fluids and messiness that medicine really is he is a um he was a, an uh, obsangaini uh, registrar and uh, registrar is like a position in the nhs if you're from the us it's like a um you are doing your residency he you well yeah there is obviously amniotic fluid and and so yes, yeah, so if you're a squeamish, definitely do not read this book. Amniotic fluid, blood, and other bodily fluids. And what I'm trying to get at is, if you really want to do medicine and you read this book and you still want to do medicine, you, it's probably your calling, but if you read this book and you think, it sounds a bit too much, maybe you've got to do some introspection. It shows the very high highs and the very soul breaking lows that the med the medical profession has. An amazing read to anyone that wants to dedicate their lives to medicine or that has an interest in medicine. Really, really, really good. Next book that I had on my TBR war is uh, American Gods and well I said I would finish it and I didn't. I tried but I didn't. <laughs> to be fair Apart from what I mentioned, that it was quite hectic, and I was beginning. Um, it was I was a beginner in the whole booktube world and all that. And well, adding it, adding up to all of that, there's the fact that this is quite a, this is quite a, a chunky book. This and Rhythm of War are ch quite chunky books. And well, I was way too ambitious considering all of the things that I had going on in my life. So yes, I didn't finish. What I wanted to say um, about American Gods is the fact that normally when you read a book and then you stop and you go back, you have to remind yourself what what the what the you know what the story was about and what, what the things were that were were going on in the story. And normally that's I have to if I if I'm reading a book and I stop halfway through when I come back to it, I need to start from the beginning. Neil Gaiman is so good and his storytelling is so remarkable that I I didn't need to do that. I remembered exactly the point of the story I was at and I, I that is astounding. I think it's the first book that I absolutely, that I remember absolutely everything. And it's, I, I thought it was quite, quite interesting. Uh, yeah, I think I read like 30, maybe 40 pages and that was it, but couldn't quite manage to finish. Next, we've got Dune. <laughs> oh, Dune. I didn't read a single page of Dune. Why? What is this thing with Dune that, I, that, that I, I've got a complicated relationship with Dune, okay? I, I have mentioned it a, a couple of times. I love the story. I love the, um, I love the setting. I think the world building is, is well, one of the pillars of, of current uh, science fiction and fantasy. But I still cannot get into the story. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't call to me, and 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 it's really frustrating. I'm really angry at myself. That's all I have to say about June. I didn't read a single page of it. And lastly, in my TBR list for December, I had Rhythm of War. Oh, Rhythm of War. So good. I read. 
I think around 700 pages when I was doing my, um, or six, 600 more likely, 600 when I, pages when I was doing my uh, 24 hour readathon. What can I say? I'm loving it. I, I am not a hundred percent, it's, it's not the, I think, in my humble opinion, I don't think it's the best book in the, in the cosm, in the Stromla archive. I think that title goes to Words of Radiance, but I've got some, some issues with Rhythm of War. I'm still loving it. I'm still fascinated about Brandon Sanderson and the world, uh, the universe that he's creating. And I think he is going to go down in history as one of the most, most influential writers of, um, not just fantasy writers, but writers of the, um, of the 21st century. But I do have some, I do, I do have some issues with this book and I have to concur with many other booktubers. Uh, I don't like the I don't like the the way that the story is structured. I don't like the fact that we have to, and this was more prominent in in the third part of the book, that you had to that you were constantly pulled out of the story to look at something that happened eight years ago. Don't get me wrong, very very interesting. Mild spoilers ahead, by the way. Very interesting. You get to find out what what the the single culture is, the single the singer culture is like, and how things were happening the way that they happened but I think that the way they're intercalated in the story is just I think it's disruptive and that is that is my opinion that's how I um, argumented it but um, alas it's not something that is pulling me away it's not stopping me from finishing the book and I'm obviously going to carry on reading it I think I've got like maybe one one third of the book left mm. No, maybe one, one, yeah, let's say one third of the book left. Uh, definitely going to finish it before the end of January. And that is it really. That is my December TBR. As you can see, I kept my list quite small and I still didn't manage to finish. Uh, but again, I, 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 um, I put it down to um, inexperience and the fact that I, I hadn't come up with, with a, a good timetable and a good, and a good way of reading and m managing the videos and studying medicine, which still has to be my number one priority. But yes, that is it. I hope you liked the video and if you did, like, comment and, and subscribe obviously if you haven't and I will see you in the next one.